Around half a year ago, I created a really crappy Raycaster. Now before you make fun of me, this is before I placed 43rd out of 44 teams in arguably one of the largest Python coding competitions. Now with my IQ raised by about 4 and my ego placed right where it should be, I am now ready to upgrade my Raycaster. And of course by upgrade, I mean scrapping the entire thing and starting over. After creating basically the exact same code as last time, I began working on some new features. The first of which would be textures. Texturing a Raycaster is a pretty simple concept. You first look at the collision happen on the horizontal and vertical axis using a bit of estimation. Once the drawing of the line starts, you take the vertical row of the image that corresponds to the collision and loop through the vertical resolution of the image, drawing them as lines on the screen. Here is how it looks. Unfortunately, it's slower than dirt, but regardless I got a texture. To speed it up, I used a texture with half the resolution. This is tolerable, but it still looks like garbage compared to Doom which ran on decades older hardware with more complex code and higher resolution. So how can we make our code run faster? Well first, Let's take a look at this code. It looks good, right? Well, you'd be wrong. For every cycle in the main loop, it has to recalculate every variable again. We can prevent this by making a loop before the main loop which predefines the variables, reducing the cycles that the CPU has to take. Now let's see what improvements this has made on my code. Well, it didn't do anything, but that's okay. We can reduce the amount of lines drawn to the screen, which effectively doubles our frames per second. But what if we don't have to do that? It might be by sheer luck, or more likely, Google listening into whatever I'm saying in Discord, but that night I was recommended a video. Super fast ray casting in tiled worlds using DDA. This is absolutely genius because it's supposed to be super fast compared to the method that I'm currently using. This saves a lot of addition statements in the code which should have a huge impact on performance. I have concluded that it is not my fault and it's Pygame that's the issue. There isn't a solution to this other than rewriting the engine in a different library. I tried Pyglet, but it's even slower than Pygame and other than that I didn't try anything else. At least this ray casting engine can render big maps better than the old one could. The code for this project will be up on GitHub for the low price of free and unlicensed.